tip number 30. There are four ways to examine the steps of a pipeline. So we've got a pipeline of one hot encoding and classification through logistic regression. We are fitting the pipeline and we want to examine the steps of the pipeline. It's a two-step pipeline. Specifically, we want to examine the model coefficients. So there are four ways you can do this. The first way is to use pipe.name steps, and then you type dot, and then the step name, and then dot in the attribute. And we see that there were three features, and here are the three coefficients that logistic regression learned. And this is the method I use because you can autocomplete the step name and you can autocomplete the attribute name. Method number two is very similar to method one, except you use this bracket notation. This looks pretty good to me. I like the look of this, but at least in my notebook, I can't autocomplete the attribute name, so I don't like it as much as this because it's nice to be able to autocomplete the attribute name. The third option, you actually can just leave out named steps, and I'm surprised this actually works, but it does. Again, you're just passing the step name here. And the fourth option is the most concise, and it refers to the step by position, meaning using step one instead of step zero, and then looking at the coef attribute. So this option is probably best for code you're gonna throw away since it's the least readable after the fact. Now I did get one LinkedIn comment that I thought was useful on this particular tip. It mentioned that you could just say pipe negative one and then that will give me the last step regardless of the length of the pipeline, which is super useful if your pipeline ends in a model. You know that always to get to the model you can just do pipe bracket negative one.